So, um, so there's an incident this week that um, was quite interesting. Well, I found it quite interesting and a little bit sad. And that is that um, Archie had some a very, very good idea about how the children could do a workflow and actually work together in order to um, do a job um, much better than they were doing it. And he went down to the kids, they were working, they were taking wood chip over to, we have a dam and it has sort of like a bit of a island in the middle and they're just covering the island with, with the wood chip. And he went down and he said, he said to the children, he goes, are you okay if we do this, that and the other? And, um, and I was like, oh my goodness, this is, this is not good. And what I realized is, this is what I do all the time. I go, are you okay if, is it all right if? And it's a sort of a, a way, a passive way that I'm trying to avoid conflict or avoid someone to um, not disagree with me. And I'm trying to get them to be nice to me. Um, and I felt really sad for Arch because his idea was really good. And the kids were just like, oh, I don't know if I want to do that. Or oh, you know, they were pretty like non-responsive. And then what he ended up doing is not going ahead with his idea. And, and I felt really upset about that, obviously. And I was like, firstly, wow, this is what I do. And he's reflecting that to me, like, perfectly. Secondly, like, wow, like, he gives up his ideas that are, are really good ideas. Well, this one was, it was a really good idea. Um, just because someone has disagreed with him, that's something that I do. Um, and I thought, wow, this is like such not a good, a good education for him. So uh, it highlighted to me, I need to change that feeling in myself and, and really emotionally deal with that issue because he's picking up and he's now acting on that. And secondly, we had a really big chat about um, just about honoring your own ideas when you have a good idea, you know, like why don't you just do it on your own if, if, if other people aren't doing it and it brought up sort of how the children have this barter exchange between them meaning that they if one does something then the other will do another thing for them or they have this codependence where they sort of are like a little unit and they can't really function properly without the other which I think is partly the reason why I actually said oh well I won't do it anymore because the other two didn't agree to do it and so we got to have a good conversation well I don't know how much of the conversation I heard but um, there was an opportunity for me to discuss some issues with them about, um, yeah, just about desire, about when you have a good idea, doing it even if no one else wants to do it. And really what I was saying to them was what I needed to say to myself and to follow through with. So we'll see, I, I don't know, I don't feel there'll be much change with the children. I think that that will be something that will be ongoing that I'll need to work on. Um, but I know for myself that the children are great. Um, reflectors of, of specific things that are going on in my life and they show to me like every day um, something in fact multiple millions of things um, if I wanted to see them but I'm only often catching certain things that I'm sensitive to seeing at the moment so it was just an interesting reflection of something that happened this week